Hello guys, um, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to configure the flap, thrust levers, speed brake lever, trim wheel, and the gear lever in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 on the Honeycomb Bravo Throttle Quadrant. So let's get right into it. So I have the same profile that was used in the autopilot configuration video, which if you want to see how to do that, um, there's a video on the channel uh, covering that as well. But like I said, we're going to focus on the the basically the power management uh, and flight control services for this video. So let's do the easiest one first, and that will be the gear lever. So in order to do that, go over down here with the little filter, um, and I don't think you can. No, you can see it actually. The camera's not covering it. So we're gonna go to all. I'm gonna go to landing gear. All right. Now, make sure your gear lever is in the down position, and click on gear up. Start scanning. Flip the gear lever up, then back down again to confirm the button press. All right. Now make sure your gear lever is in the up position, click on the gear down, start scanning, flip the gear down, and then back up to confirm its button press. So let's do a little test right here. Gear down, as you can see it activates. Gear up, and as you can see it activates. Right, next we're going to do the trim wheel. So we're going to go to flight control surfaces, hit the drop down menu, go to control trimming surfaces, and scroll all the way down to the bottom. You'll see elevator trim down, nose down, and elevator trim up, nose up. So, for trim down, nose down, we're going to start scanning, and we're going to move the trim wheel forward, kind of in a forward direction, like this. And as you can see, it'll register. And that's all you have to do for that. And then click Validate. And for trim up, we'll basically be doing the same thing, but in the opposite direction. So start scanning, and move the trim wheel backward, I guess, or up. And click Validate. And that will be it for the trim section. The next thing we'll do is the speed brake lever right here. And for that, we're going to go back to Flight Control Surfaces, I'm going to go to secondary control surfaces and the spoilers axis. It's the second one as of now. Um, it could change, but right now it is the second one down. It says spoilers axis, and that's it. Go ahead and click on it, start scanning, and move your spoiler from the top to the bottom. And you should have the joystick axis show up right here. And then click validate. The next we're going to do is the flaps, and we don't have to really move anywhere. We just go right here to flaps axis, negative 100 to 100%. Click on it, start scanning and pull down. And as you can see, the axis will show up. Okay, next we're going to do the thrust levers, reverse thrusters, and the red button. So we're going to go to power management. We're going to go to throttle down here. And we're going to be looking for throttle one axis. And whatever you want your throttle one axis to be, start scanning, move it all the way up, and then all the way back, and validate. And reverse axis. And for throttle two axis, we're going to do the same thing. Start scanning, all the way up, all the way back, validate, and reverse axis. The next thing we're going to be doing is binding the reverse thrusters right here, the uh, little button things. So we're going to look for throttle one decrease, and whatever you want your reverse thruster button to be, in my case is going to be the included reverse thrusters, we're going to do, click on it, throttle one decrease, start scanning, flick it up, and flick it back, and then click validate, and we're going to do the same for throttle two. We're going to look for a throttle to decrease. Click on it, start scanning, flick it up, and flick it down. And then click validate. Okay, so the last thing we have to program is this little red button right here. It is found on the engine one lever of the commercial airliner um, throttle handles. And to do that, um, you can program whatever you want it to be. So in my case, I have it binded to auto throttle because that is what is most convenient to me. And we find auto throttle in the autopilot section and we scroll very far down I'm pretty sure it's like towards the bottom in fact yep arm auto throttle click on it start scanning for arm auto throttle and just click your button and validate now like I said you can bind this red button to literally whatever you want but for me I have it binded to auto throttle because it is very convenient all I have to do is have my hand right here and just press it with my thumb and the auto throttle is connected Okay, so we are now in Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 in the fly-by-wire A320neo, and we have, um, we're on the ground right now, we're on the runway, but we're going to be basically testing to make sure everything worked. So, we have our speed rake lever right here, and let's uh, look at the percentage, and as you can see, it is very precise and fine adjustments. Let's see, all the way down, and right there, we stop, and it's 100, and then push it all the way back up 
and the same with the flap lever as well. So now for the flap lever, on the right side you will have your Airbus uh, flap notch uh, numbers. So on the on the left side, I believe is the Boeing flap numbers. We have like 0, 1, 2, 5, 10, 15, 25, 30, and 40. And then on the right side, we have 0, 1, 2, 3, and full, which I believe is what Airbus uses, is the 0, 1, 2, 3, and full on the right side. As you can see, so flaps are at 0 right now. Flap 1, flap 2, flap 3, and flap full. Now for the reverse thrusts, there is actually something important that you must do. So we're going to activate reverse thrust right now, and it's going to go into reverse thrust. And we're going to put the levers back. Now as you can see, we are still in reverse thrust mode because there's not a hold at reverse thrust uh, bind or configuration in Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 like an X-Plane, for example. Instead, it is just a push to go into reverse thrust. So in order to come out of reverse thrust, we need to move the levers a little bit to register that we are no longer in reverse thrust mode. So let's do that again. Reverse thrust. Come out of reverse thrust. As you can see, we're still in it. Just move the letters a little bit, and you'll be fine. Now let's do trim. So move trim down, and as you can see, we're trimming down. And move trim up. As you can see, we're trimming up. Down. And up. I think the next thing that we're going to look at is what I binded the red button to, which in my case is the auto throttle button. So as you can see, when we click it, we engage auto throttle. We click it again. We disengage auto throttle. Click it, comes out of it, click it again, goes into it. Pretty simple. So now let's go go ahead and, and get in the air so we can use the gear lever. Okay, so now that we're in the air, gear up and gear down. Up, down. We're going to leave it in the up position though since we are technically taking off. Now the Airbus has an auto trimming function, but we can trim down manually and we can trim up manually. And that is it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, um, let me know. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, uh, any issues, comment them down below. I will do the best I can to help you out. And um, thank you very much for watching. Peace out.